tricks to learn 30 inorganic reactions. I will teach you super easy tricks to learn 30 important inorganic reactions in a very short period of time. First of all, let me teach you four important reactions. Let consider these reactions. Now I will use my personal tricks to solve these important reactions. The first reaction is an exception case. I leave it for a moment. In case of the second reaction, we know that sodium is from the first group. I say sodium is the first element. Secondly, I say sulfur is the second element. Now listen carefully. The first product of the reaction is first plus second elements. We know that the first element is sodium and the second element is sulfur. I write sodium and sulfur. The oxidation state of sodium is plus 1 and that of sulfur is minus 2. According to criss cross method, I write here 2. Thus I get sodium sulfide. Now what about the second product? It is super easy. I write this first product sodium sulfate as it is. Here is oxygen in the reactants. So I write O3 with the second product. The sweat and sodium hydroxide react together. We get sodium sulfide and sodium sulfite. Now in case of third reaction, I say sodium is the first element and halogen is the second element. According to the trick, I write first element and second element. The first element is sodium and the second element is halogen. We know that the oxidation state of sodium is plus 1 and that of halogen is minus 1. Thus I get NaX or sodium halide. Now what about the second product? Well, according to the trick, I write the first product as it is. We can see that there is oxygen in the reactant. I write here O3. Thus remember that when halogen reacts with sodium hydroxide in hot conditions, we get sodium halide plus sodium halide oxide. In case of fourth reaction, I say sodium is the first element and halogen is the second element. According to the trick, I write first and second element. Now what about the second product? According to the trick, I write the first product as it is. We know that there is oxygen in the reactant. I write here O3. But wait a minute. Here the condition is cold. So I say less oxygen reacts with sodium halide. So instead of O3, I only write one atom of oxygen. Thus remember that when halogen plus sodium hydroxide react together in cold conditions, we get sodium halide plus sodium halide oxide. Now in case of the first reaction being an exception case, I say phosphorus is the first element and hydrogen is the second element. According to the trick, the first product is first element and second element. The first element is phosphorus and the second element is hydrogen. The oxidation state of phosphorus is plus 3 and that of hydrogen is minus 1. According to criss cross method, I write here 3. What about the second product? Well, we know that in the reactant, there is sodium and oxygen. I take this pH3. I remove one hydrogen from it to create positive and negative side. I get H2P. Now the positive side is filled by the sodium and the negative side is filled by O2. Remember that the subscript of both hydrogen and oxygen is 2. Thus when phosphorus plus sodium hydroxide react together in hot conditions, we get pH3 
arphosphine and sodium hypophosphite. Hence, noted down these four important reactions. Now, let's consider these two reactions. Pause the lecture and try to figure out their products. Well, according to the trick, sodium is the first element and chlorine is the second element. I write first plus second element. I get sodium chloride. In case of second product, I write sodium chloride as it is. There is oxygen in the reactant. I write O3. Hence, these are the products of the first reaction. In case of the second reaction, I get sodium chloride. I write this sodium chloride as it is. In the reactant, there is oxygen. I write O3. But wait a minute. The condition is cold. Hence, I say less oxygen reacts with sodium chloride. I write only one oxygen atom. Hence, these are the products of the second reaction. This noted down. Now, we will learn five important reactions of hydrolysis of xenon fluorides. Let's consider these reactions. I will teach you common tricks to crack these five reactions. I leave the first and the second reaction. Remember that in all these three reactions, hydrogen fluoride are formed. In case of the third reaction, I write hydrogen fluoride. In the reactants, there are two hydrogen atoms. I write here two. What about the second product? Well, there is one xenon in the reactant. I write here one xenon. Secondly, there is one oxygen in the reactant. I write here one oxygen. Thirdly, there are six fluoride in the reactants. I have already written two fluoride in the products. So I write here four fluoride. Thus these are the products of the third reaction. Now I will repeat this trick for the fourth and for the fifth reactions. In case of the fourth reaction, I write hydrogen fluoride. We can see that in the reactants, there are 2 into 2 is equal to 4 hydrogen atoms. So I put 4 with this hydrogen fluoride. What about the second product? We can see that in the reactant, there is one xenon. I write one xenon. There are two oxygen. I write O2. There are six fluoride. But I have already written four fluoride in the products. I write two fluoride here. Thus these are the products of the fourth reaction. In case of the fifth reaction, I write hydrogen fluoride. We can see that in the reactants, there are 3 into 2 is equal to 6 hydrogen atoms. I write here 6 with hydrogen fluoride. The second product is, we can see that there is 1 xenon in the reactant. I write here 1 xenon. There are 3 oxygen in the reactants. I write O3. There are 6 fluoride, which I have already written at the product site. Thus, these are the products of the fifth reaction. Remember that the first and the second reactions are exception cases. In the first reaction, three products are formed. And in the second reaction, four products are formed. To balance the first and the second reaction, I write 2 and 6. Now, these two reactions are balanced. In case of first reaction, I write hydrogen fluoride. In the reactant, 2 into 2 is equal to 4 hydrogen. I write 4 with hydrogen fluoride. Secondly, in the reactant, there are 2 xenon. I write 2 xenon. Thirdly, in the reactant, there are 2 oxygen. I write O2. Thus, these are the products of the first reaction. In case of the second reaction, I write hydrogen fluoride. There are 12 into 2 
is equal to 24 hydrogen atoms. I write here 24 with hydrogen fluoride. Now listen carefully. In the reactants, there are 6 xenon. I divide it into 4 xenon and 2 xenon. I write 4 xenon and 2 xenon here. On the other hand, there are 12 oxygen in the reactants. I divide it into 6 oxygen and 6 oxygen. I write here O3 and 3 oxygen molecules. Thus, these are the products of the second reaction. Therefore, using this simple trick, we can easily learn these 5 important reactions. Now, we will learn 20 important reactions. The first 5 important reactions are D and P block elements reacts with KMnO4. We know that KMnO4 is a good oxidizing agent. It oxidizes other species by increasing its oxidation state. For example, consider these reactions. The common trick is, if the element is from the D block, just increase its oxidation state by 1. Secondly, if the element is from the P block, increase its oxidation state by 2. Also remember that in all these reactions, Mn plus 2 ion is produced. I write Mn plus 2, Mn plus 2, Mn plus 2, Mn plus 2 and Mn plus 2. Now in case of the first reaction, Fe is from the D block. According to the trick, I increase its oxidation state by 1. I get Fe plus 3. Secondly, Sn is from the D block. According to the trick, I increase its oxidation state by 1. I get Sn plus 3. Thirdly, nitrogen is from the P block and its oxidation state is plus 3. According to the trick, I increase its oxidation state by 2. I get NO3. Here, the oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 6. Fourthly, sulfur is from the P block and its oxidation state is plus 4. According to the trick, I increase its oxidation state by 2. I get SO4. Here, the oxidation state is plus 6. Lastly, sulfur is again from the P block and I increase its oxidation state by 2. I get SO4. Thus using this simple trick, we can easily learn these 5 important reactions. Now we will learn 5 more important reactions with KMnO4. Let's consider these reactions. We know that KMnO4 is a good oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the given species by increasing its oxidation state. Remember that in all these reactions, Mn plus 2 ion is produced. I write Mn plus 2, Mn plus 2, Mn plus 2, Mn plus 2 and Mn plus 2. In case of the first reaction, chlorine ion is oxidized to chlorine gas, bromine ion is oxidized to bromine, iodine ion is oxidized to iodine. In case of the fourth reaction, H2S is oxidized to sulfur. In case of the fifth reaction, oxalate ion is oxidized to carbon dioxide gas. Thus using this simple trick, we can easily learn these five important reactions. Hence note it down. Now we will learn five more important reactions of D block elements with potassium dichromate. For example, consider these reactions. We already learned the trick. If an element is from the D block, its oxidation state is increased by 1. If an element is from the P block, its oxidation state is increased by 2. We know that in all these reactions, chromate ion is produced. I write chromate ion, chromate ion, chromate ion, chromate ion and chromate ion. Now in case of iron, it is from D block. I increase its oxidation state by 1. 
I get Fe plus 3. Secondly, Sn is also from D block. I increase its oxidation state by plus 1. I get Sn plus 3. Thirdly, nitrogen is from P block. I increase its oxidation state by 2. I get NO3. Fourthly, sulfur is from P block. I increase its oxidation state by plus 2. I get SO4. Lastly, sulfur is again from P block. I increase its oxidation state by 2. I get SO4. Thus noted down these important reactions. Finally, we will learn 5 more important reactions with potassium dichromate. Let's consider these reactions. We know that potassium dichromate is a good oxidizing agent. It increases oxidation state of other species. We know that chromate is formed in all these reactions. I write chromate ion, chromate ion, chromate ion, chromate ion and chromate ion. Now chlorine is oxidized to chlorine gas. Bromine ion is oxidized to bromine. Iodine is oxidized to I2. Hydrogen sulfide is oxidized to sulfur. Oxalate ion is oxidized to carbon dioxide gas. Thus noted down these important reactions. If you want to learn more about inorganic reactions, watch our lecture and its link is given in the description.